longest of times, it's been debated that playing through Broodhard Materaria as the Summoner class is one of the most challenging experiences in the game, offering the player very little in the way of offensive damage and defensive armour. Saying that, however, would you believe it if I told you that my most requested review was in fact a summoner armor set that apparently can seriously help improve the class's viability at this stage of the game? Of course, I'm talking about obsidian armor. Today, we're not only going to delve into exactly what this potentially underrated armor set offers, but also take a look at some of the other items and strategies you can use to make pre hard mode summoner an absolute breeze. Alright then, let us jump into it. I think one of the main reasons why the Obsidian Armor set is so highly regarded is its early obtainability. You'll first need to harvest a bunch of cobwebs underground, which can be found in large quantities in spider nests, and then craft 30 silk at a loom. Secondly, you'll of course need some obsidian, which can be mined using pickaxes with at least 55% pickaxe power. And finally, we actually need a few shadow skills or tissue samples from your evil boss. Now, interestingly, this still technically makes the armor set obtainable pre-boss, as we don't actually need to defeat either evil boss entirely for this drop. So, if you're a struggling master mode summoner, the fact you can gather all the ingredients for this without defeating the Eater of Worlds or Brain of Cthulhu is just fantastic. Anyway, once you've gathered everything, you will need to craft a set of the Hellforge, which I suppose is a bit of a drawback. Either way, now that we've got it in hand, let's see why so many people have been recommending it. To put it simply, I think the Obsidian Armor set is just really good for when it's placed in progression. Like, compared to other summoner sets in pre-hard mode, it just knocks them out of the park from a whip damage perspective, and this is even after substantial nerfs in 1.4.4. The crazy part is, with the buffs totaling 31% summoner damage and 15% whip speed, this actually equates to more than the spider armor, a hard mode set. And yet, while it may not offer much in the way of summoner slots, it still gives you one, which if combined with the bewitching table, summoner potion and pygmy necklace, is more than enough to tackle anything in pre-hard mode with. So with that in mind, let's see what it can actually do. Now, when it comes to the actual summons, it really depends on how far you are in pre-hard mode. However, if you want the best results, both the Vampire Frog and Imp staff are fantastic, dealing plenty of DPS, which when combined with a good whip, can manage crowds of enemies no problem, and maybe even a bit better than other classes. The thing is though, the main attraction to this armor set is how early it can be obtained, so let's see just how much easier it can make your life against an early boss like Skeletron. At this stage, it's likely you'll be using the Hornet Staff with the Snap Form Whip, both of which can be obtained relatively early in progression. And if I'm honest, on Expert Mode at least, this is more than enough firepower to make this fight a breeze. The continuous range damage from the summon is always nice, and when combined with a frequently hitting high damaging whip thanks to the Obsidian Armor, we're able to take Skeletron down at speeds comparable to using a ranged weapon. And the thing here is, we can only make it better. So the question is, can this pre-boss armor take you into hard mode? The Summoner Wall of Flesh fight is always one of those things I hear people having difficulties with, but with the right setup, it's actually incredibly simple. By using a combination of Obsidian Armor, Movement Accessories and the Imp Staff, you can deal some ridiculous DPS to the wall without even requiring much input from yourself. And yet, to be honest, while you could benefit from the extra minion slots presented by the armor, the extra damage and attack speed added to the whip soon pays for itself later in the fight. So yeah, next time you're thinking about doing a summoner playthrough, I think it goes without saying that the Obsidian Armor set is a must-have. I'd love to hear down below if you're someone who always goes for Obsidian Armor in your playthroughs, and if not, why not give it a try, as with the right setup, it can be an absolute blast. This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.